Posting photos from recent vacations, special events, or simply your everyday life is a great way to let your friends and family keep up with you. Thanks to iWeb08, it's easy to preserve these memories on your website. You've been working on your website, and it's really looking good. Now you'd like to customize a photos page and organize these photos with an album page. We've already added a photos page, so we can jump right into editing it. We'll first navigate to the page using the sidebar. We can add a photo anywhere we like on our website simply by dragging it into place. But the photos page is especially handy for this due to its pre-formatted template. To add pictures here, we'll first want to open the media browser. Now that the media browser is open, we can access all of the photos we have in iPhoto. On our photos page, we'd like to include pictures from our recent vacation stored in the iPhoto album called European Memories. To see the album a little better, we'll need to scroll down in the media browser. Because iWeb allows us to add multiple photos at once, we can simply click and drag the European Memories album in the media browser onto our photos page and all of the pictures it includes will be brought over. See how iWeb automatically organized our photos for us? That sure is easier than laying them all out ourselves. Let's go ahead and close the media browser for now so that we can focus on our photos page. If we'd like, we can use the photo grid window that appears when a picture is selected to modify the look of the photos template. Let's do so now and select a different look with the album style pop-up menu. See the nice borders it added to our photos to really make them stand out? We can also use the photo grid window to alter the number of columns on our page, the spacing between graphics, the photos per page, and the caption lines. In fact, you can access the photo grid window by clicking any image on your web page. This is good for now though, so let's go ahead and begin making an albums page by first accessing the template chooser. The My Albums template is a great way to create an index of multiple photo albums that will keep them all organized. When visitors click a thumbnail on the My Albums page, they'll be directed to the photos that album contains. Since we've already made a photos page, we can simply drag it onto our My Albums page to consolidate the two. See how they merged? Now let's add a second album to the My Albums page by dragging it from the media browser. Adding another photo album redirected us to a new photos page that iWeb created for us. These look great, but let's close the media browser and go back to the My Albums page and make sure everything is in order there too. All of our photo albums are listed here with a thumbnail of the pictures included, in addition to titles generated from our iPhoto albums. With all of our photos so tidally accessible on the web, our site will be the perfect way to keep friends and family up to date on everything going on. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.